Farm 80s. It's been rather a slow start to our cruise south. Um, we didn't leave North Point Marina until, le until the 20th uh, because of gale force winds, high winds, and we'd only plan on going like 30 miles a day, 31 miles a day, trying to keep it to that. So we went, our first stop was Harrington Harbor South. It wasn't a lot of wind, we had to motor most of the way, but there was like a two to three foot following seas, maybe sometimes four, kind of pushing us along. So we made pretty good time. Of course, Harrington Harbor South, that's a destination marina unto itself. It's a large facility. I think they have over 600 slips, but it's well protected. They got a beach area. They've got uh, two restaurants. Uh, one of them, Catch 22, is an upscale kind of dining. Really nice what they've done on renovating that. It's pretty cool. Then there's also a um, like a deli with uh, some supplies there, some chips and different food items. Big, big wine selection though. A little bit of liquor and some beer. We're going to be there for maybe two days. Two days because they've got all these walking trails and it's really neat. The landscaping that they've done there, some nature trails, some things to just kind of walk around. Like here, this frog. I, I think this is kind of like a meditation relaxing area. It was really kind of neat. Well, we wound up having to spend another night there. Not that it was bad to spend another night there. Again, because of high, high winds. Our next stop was going to be uh, Solomon's, or was Solomon's, and still was Solomon's. So we sailed down there. Again, not a lot of wind, but enough to get the sails up and, and get moving a little bit. Um, following seas again, so that wasn't bad. We got in there. We're only going to spend one night at Solomon's. So we wound up spending three nights because of, again, high winds, gales, storms, rain. It's like we have a good day, and then we have several days where we need to sit. And when we were in Solomon's, we had our Thanksgiving dinner on board. So from Solomon's, we came up to the Potomac, and we're spending time here at Point Lookout Marina. Now, we planned on spending a couple of days here. It's a large facility. I mean, I think they only have like 160-some slips, but the property itself is over 20 acres. So you can walk around, and there's a lot of green space. They've got tables and uh, picnic tables, and there's chairs, and there's areas to sit and relax, overlook the wa oh, the sunsets. I'm pretty sure the sunsets are great, although the whole time we've been here, it's been cloudy except for one night. And we planned on leaving today, but given the weather, again, gale force winds yesterday, 25 to 30 knot gusts today. Tomorrow, 20 knot gust. I don't know if we'll even get out of here tomorrow. I'm kind of hoping we do. But again, this is not a bad place to be stuck if you have to be stuck somewhere. Uh, there's an on-site restaurant, uh, Sunset Waterfront Restaurant. And man, that is, that is really a nice, nice restaurant. Very good food. Uh, the decor is fun. There's outdoor seating overlooking the river here. It's, it's really pretty neat. So overall, the trip has not been bad. The boat's been running well. Um, I think I got a little bit of a diesel leak somewhere. Uh, I'm, I'm f looking for it. I think I found it. But the engine runs good. Sailing is going good. Everything else is going good. Sherry's doing good on the boat. Uh, the composting head is working out really well for us. Oh, and so far, all the marinas we've stopped at, the water's been on, so we've been lucky there. Now, I think they're turning the water off here sometime next week, 
and uh, back on uh, Point Lookout Marina, they're, they're also a full service marina. They've got a big uh, boat yard, uh, certified mechanics, a couple of travel lifts. So if you need any work done, you can get that done here too. In fact, there's a guy who just came in a couple days ago from the um, Baltimore Annapolis area. They came down here to have their boat hauled and worked on. So I think that says something for the reliability and the workmanship that gets done at this marina. Now it does get a little chilly at night and I haven't had to use a diesel heater. The reverse cycle um, heat I put in this summer, air conditioning heat, that's working really well. It's keeping the boat nice and warm and toasty, keeps the air flow. So that's working good. And like I say, everything on the boat is, is working well. The um, hardest part is, I mean, you know, we're, we're having to motor most of the time, so we're not really sailing. Even though it's only 30 miles, we're still out on the water five and a half, six hours. It's just, it's taking time to get to where we want to go, which we're, which is kind of ironic because we don't really have an end destination. We're just going as far as we want to and then we'll turn around sometime and come back I guess or we won't. Hard to tell. But anyway guys the cruise has been going very well. The stops have been what we anticipated. Been there a little longer than we wanted to but hey it's all part of the experience. We're having fun. Getting to see some other properties that we haven't seen before and we're relaxing. So until next time, happy and safe boating to you, your family, and friends.